Which you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're taking a look at what happens if you don't activate Windows 10. Now, quite a few people have Windows 10 and some people don't have it activated. So what will happen uh, after 30 days? So apparently, according to Microsoft, you have to have a activated version of Windows to use it. Let's take a look at the Microsoft license terms. So if we look at the Microsoft license terms, we can come down to section five. I'm just going to come down here to section five. And you can see here it says authorized software and activation. You are authorized to use this software only if you are properly licensed and that the software has been properly activated with a genuine product key. Right there, you can see in black and white. So in theory, you're supposed to install Windows 10 and then you're supposed to um, activate it with a legitimate license key. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't use Windows 10 unactivated. A lot of people still do. And what will happen if that is the case? Well, what will happen is you would end up with a watermark down here saying that your version of Windows is not activated. You also get a Windows isn't activated, activate Windows now right here. And inside the personalization, you're going to have a bunch of restrictions. And you can see here, you need to activate Windows before you can personalize this PC. So that basically means your background, your wallpapers, that also means the colors. You can't change the colors or the themes or anything like that. The lock screen is locked and you won't be able to use that feature. As I've said, the themes here, it says you need to activate Windows before you can personalize your PC on the themes. Fonts, you need to activate Windows before you can personalize your PC up here again. On the start here area here, we can see this is all grayed out. And the taskbar is also grayed out. But Windows 10 in general is still fully functional. You can still use Windows 10. You can still get updates from Microsoft. And you can still go here and you're still safe and secure. So basically you can see here, I can check for updates. And it will bring down security updates and feature updates for me. As you can see here. So they're starting to come down. So does that mean that I can continue to use this way after 30 days? Well, what's going to happen is you're going to start getting uh, notifications popping up as well. You're going to get a uh, little notification like nag boxes saying that you need to activate Windows 10. So you'll get sent notifications asking you to activate Windows 10 frequently after 30 days. And uh, you'll also get some apps and features won't work properly. They will just stop working. Now, Microsoft can change uh, their mind about using Windows 10 when it's not activated in the future. They can actually change it. Now, when you go to install Windows 10, you'll also notice that you don't need a product key to install Windows 10. There's an area saying, I do not have a license key. And you can click on this and go ahead and install Windows 10 and use Windows 10. Now, at the moment, Microsoft are not enforcing you to activate Windows 10 before you install it. They, you can actually still install Windows 10 and then activate Windows after the fact by going here and then literally go into the activation window. And this will allow you to then add in your product key. At the moment, that's still a, a thing. You don't need to uh, basically activate straight away. So you do have up to 30 days and you can extend that. But eventually what will happen is you will start getting notifications and nag boxes popping up saying you need to activate watermark down here. But there is some restrictions, like I've said. It's very strange to think that they've not enforced you to activate Windows 10 straight away. And they just allow you to use it with a little watermark down on the bottom right hand corner and a few notifications and personalizations. Basically, some people are quite happy to use Windows 10, leaving it like this and uh, using it. So, and that's pretty much it. So you could theoretically continue to use 
Windows 10 unactivated for the foreseeable future until Microsoft enforce you to activate by restricting certain features of it even more so. But that is not the case at the moment. And now, unfortunately, there is always the piracy route which people tend to go down and Microsoft have tried to steer people clear of that by giving free upgrades to people in the past, even though they've had a pirated version of Windows. In the past, Microsoft have offered out a lifeline to people to get them to the next generation of Windows activated with a legitimate key, even if they had a pirate version of it. I'm not sure if they're still offering that deal uh, but basically, they just want people using their operating system, and that's basically a a little way of um, incentive to get you to use the latest version. So remember, you are authorized to use this software only if you are properly licensed and the software has been properly activated with a genuine product key by an authorized method. And that is basically Microsoft's stance on it. So they ain't enforcing it heavily but they can do it anytime they can change that and enforce that on you and make you activate but anyway that's about it so theoretically you could use windows 10 forever until microsoft enforce that fact that you have to be activated you'll have 30 days and then you will start to get a limitation up down here a little a watermark down here showing up and you'll start seeing other things happen my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video answers all your questions and I shall see you again for another video real soon. A big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.